What is going on? Good morning. Uh, we are at SNA Auto. We're going to make a video on this Lincoln MKX. So we've got, uh, I forget the exact code, but it's basically a fan control module, which is the module that rests right here on the fan on these Lincoln MKXs here. This is what it looks like. You've got a power, a ground, and a signal wire that go in on one side, that big plug right there. And then two connectors over here. A lot of the new ones, it's just a single connector, um, but just power and ground. So what this does is it regulates the signal and how much voltage is actually going to go to the fans uh, to turn them on and all that. So what I did, first things first, to test the fans is you, there's one of the fan plugs right there. Now, looking at the fan, if you could see down there, uh, focus, I don't know if it'll focus. It looks swollen it's a simple two wire setup if you can see here on my tester I've got a paper clip pushed down into the plug there with my ground hooked up and you can see on my tester every time I touch ground it shows a ground signal now if this fans good and I touch the positive here with that hooked up I should get a ground signal and I'm not but I'm gonna send power to it anyways Sending power, I'm getting nothing. The fan's not coming on at all. So I'm gonna hook up the other one real quick. All right, we've got the other side hooked up. We're gonna try to run power to this fan. Nothing. I heard a brief click in the fan and that's it. And I've got a new fan right there. I'm gonna test it just to show you how I'm trying to do this. Alrighty, so there's the new fan. I've disconnected it from the module. You can see I've got that hooked up to the ground. When I hook that up, you can see right now, it is, let's see here, I have to get it in the hole. There we go. It's showing an intermittent ground signal because I'm not getting a good connection. There we go. All right, you can see a ground signal and watch what happens when I give it some power. It works. Um, I'm burning up my little connector here because that's a lot of juice going through that tiny little wire. Don't worry, I'm not burning the fan. I was only getting it pulses of energy there. But now we know that these fans are completely smoked. I've already tested this. I've got power, ground, uh, and I'm getting a signal. So, in this case, this fan comes with a new module. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this module is actually bad, but it most likely is due to the fact that both fans are completely burned out. So I'm gonna go ahead, completely install this whole new fan setup with this module. All right, and as I said earlier, testing this out, you can see. Now this thing's a little messed up. It's showing like 11.9 volts. The battery's probably got about 11.9, but you can't really see the numbers on there. But I get the concept. It's showing a solid ground, showing solid power, and we're showing at least 1.1 volts sitting there from the signal. All right, guys, I am under this Lincoln right now. Um, I've got to do some other stuff, so I lifted it in the air anyways. You can do this on the ground in your driveway, which is something I wanted to point out. You do have some coolant hoses and a little bracket bolted to the bottom of your fan. Once you unbolt that, this thing will pop right out. All right, back on the top side, you can see this fan sliding right out. If you're real gentle with it, it's not that bad. What you can do is take that coolant hose and take that wiring harness and just kind of gently move it out of the way there and just kind of finagle this thing out. Just be careful, you don't want to get snagged on anything like an AC hose. I'm going to get the fan the rest of the way out. And there she is with the fan out. And that was it. It just bolted up down there. I'm going to test it one more time while I got it out of the car. It's just a two-wire setup just to make sure we don't have no flukes going on here. All right, as far as on the bottom side, you've got this tab on the radiator. Make sure the fan sits into that. You're going to hook your little hose pipe set up back up that bracket and then put that screw back in and then the tab on the other side that you can't see and then two screws up top all right 
and once you get that fan in place you're gonna see right here those little tabs on top they're gonna pop and sit right in that radiator and your screw holes are gonna be lined up for you on both sides so pop your screws back in pop the harness and everything back over like so it's gonna sit in its designated places here and goes back together pretty easily make sure this goes in right and that's it it's plug and play these fans actually aren't the worst ones i know they're really buried in there they can be a little intimidating i thought it was going to take me a lot longer but this fan ended up going in in about 20 minutes maybe all right got everything back together not that there was much to take apart uh, the only thing that really had to come out of the way was this intake box right here there's no screws other than this one right here i ended up just taking those two eight millimeter slash five sixteenths whichever you want to use they both work the same unplug then you could use that same eight mil or five sixteenths on this clamp and the back clamp intakes out of the way no big deal there and i just disconnected the battery uh, but everything's back in place and screwed down so i'm gonna go ahead and start it we're gonna let it run for a while all right check it out those fans are screaming the fans are working the issue we we're having was an internet intermittent uh overheating conditions not full-blown overheating but it was getting pretty warm those fans were coming out of traffic now you can see they're screaming go over here we're gonna check out coolant temp is right at 213 I'm not a hundred percent sure when these fans come on typically they're around 215 or so 220 so uh, it looks like we're holding good temp and the fans are working only the other thing I have to check out now is if it works with the AC which it should